Hey, I'm Mitchell. Welcome to another video in the RSP Education Series. Ever wonder what makes a disconnect switch safe or even legal to operate? Or why some can cut live power while others are only safe after shutdown? Today, we're cutting through the confusion, literally. In just a few minutes, you're going to know exactly what terms like load break switch, isolator, and safety switch actually really mean, and why it matters when you're working on high-powered industrial gear. If you like this kind of content and want more educational videos, please like and subscribe. Also, this video is for educational purposes only. Consult a professional for your application. RSP Supply is not liable for any misuse of this information. With that said, let's get right into it. Now, let's quickly go over a summary of the different names for disconnect switches and what each one means. First, load break switch. This type can safely shut off power even while electricity is flowing. It's designed for disconnection under load, which means it's safe to use while the equipment is still running. Next is isolator. This one cannot break live power. You should only use it when the power is already turned off. Its main job is to make sure the equipment stays fully disconnected during maintenance. And finally, safety switch. This is more of a general term. It might or might not be able to break live power depending on the type. It's usually used for emergency shutdowns though, or routine maintenance in industrial settings. So to recap, low to break switches can disconnect live power, isolators are for safe separation after power is off, and safety switches are the catch-all term used for shutting down equipment safely. So here's an overview or a basic description of some common types of disconnect switches you might encounter. First one would be fused disconnect switch. This has built-in fuses that blow in case of overload. It provides both disconnection and overcurrent protection. Very common in motor control panels. Then you got non-fused disconnect switches. It has no built-in fuses. It's used when circuit protection is provided elsewhere by a separate breaker. Then you have enclosed safety switch. This is housed in a weatherproof or dustproof metal enclosure used in outdoor or harsh environments like factories or water plants. You also have a knife blade switch, very basic, Visible, open contact style, like a big lever, think. It's often used for educational purposes or in older equipment. Then you have a rotary disconnect. This is operated with a turning knob. Very common in control panels or machinery where space is tight. Each type is chosen based on safety, application, environment, and space. So here's the big picture. Load brake switches safely interrupt live current, great for controlled shutdowns. Isolators are used after the power's off essential for safe maintenance. Safety switches are the umbrella term, sometimes fused, sometimes not, but always focused on protection. We also looked at types from fused and non-fused to rugged enclosed models and space-saving rotary disconnects. Each one has a job and choosing the right one starts with knowing what you're working with. In our next video, we're gonna walk through how to choose the right disconnect switch for your application and the real world factors that make the difference in the field. For a full line of disconnect switches and hundreds of thousands of other industrial automation products, please go to our website. That's rspsupply.com, the internet's top source for industrial hardware.